Hey y'all, Mikey Wormer here with another episode of my Greg Tech New Horizons playthrough. Last episode we got these animal traps built uh, and they've been producing a fair amount of goods for me. In fact, if I come over here to this chest, these are all the things, <laughs> with the exception of the apple sapling, that I collected out of the animal traps and I haven't even really been keeping it that well stocked, honestly. Uh, the apple sapling was part of uh, a required quest for, I think it was either the fruit bait or the vegetable bait, I'm not sure which, but... This was a requirement for that, so I went ahead and crafted that up. And I should probably plant it, but oh well. Uh, we also worked on the sleeping bag. And I'll admit, I haven't actually even put this thing to use since we made it. Uh, but I am looking forward to being able to venture out a little bit further uh, and not be afraid of the night. So that's pretty cool. This episode, we're going to work on two things. We're going to work on a source of water generation. This is going to come from a multi-block structure from Railcraft and it's going to produce water based on the humidity of the biome we're in. You can see down here where I'm at right now is 50%, but remember we saw that this area up here is 80%. And so we might actually even shift the base over a little bit. I haven't really planned that out too much yet, so we'll see where that goes. The other thing we're gonna work on is some leather gloves, and these are gonna enable us to carry buckets of lava without getting burnt. That's right, if you pick up a bucket of lava, you will get burnt and eventually die. And we don't want that to happen. We're going to need to carry lava when we start on our smeltery, right? So we're going to go ahead and make those gloves. Uh, so let's get started here. If we jump into our quest book and we open up the multi-block goals, uh, this quest right here is what we're looking for, the water dilemma. So we require a rubber tree sapling, which I've already found. We require a tree tap. This lets you extract rubber from our rubber trees. And you can see the recipe looks complicated, but we've built all these tools already, so that's not a big deal. The wood screw we've made a couple times. And even these pipes are relatively simple recipes, right? So I've actually already crafted and then completely used up a tree tap on the rubber trees that I've planted over here. Uh, I need to give this area some more attention. I haven't touched it since I got as much rubber as I needed. But basically I grew the trees and then I went ahead and harvested the blocks that did not have these rubber nodes on them just for the efficiency of knowing exactly where I'm going when I come over here, right? So you can see that's why some of these are just kind of hanging around. But uh, another tree's grown, a couple of trees have grown since I last came over here, so I need to clear this out a little bit. And I definitely recommend crafting that tree, uh, tree tap. It was pretty instrumental. I, I started out not doing it and just harvesting the trees themselves and replanting them. And that works, that gets you some of that sticky resin, but it is a very, very slow process. So I would recommend crafting that tree tap. It's not too expensive. So moving on through the quest, we need 52 iron rods. Uh, do we have, yeah, we do. Uh, I should be in this view. And then we want to take those 52 and then file them down into as many iron rods as we can make. And then we'll need to make another file and always forget the recipe for this. Uh, okay, so just two plates and a stick. So if we grab our hammer, uh, we'll need one more. There we go. I really need to work on some storage solutions. It's, it's not good. I'm starting to really run out of room here. Then it was two of those, and then that gets us the file, and the file in this, 4252, there we go. Okay, so that's our 52 iron rods. Then we need a bunch of wood planks, 130, so that's two stacks plus a little bit. And we'll be set to go. Uh, I'll probably regret it, but let's just go ahead and use what's left of our saw on this, and then there we go. So that's all our wood planks. And then finally, we can just craft up the water tank siding. And all these recipes. This one's different, but that's stainless steel. That's steel, steel. So this is the only one we have access to. And then, whoops. Let's do this. 
Sometimes it doesn't put all the items up there, and that's pretty annoying, but we'll live with it. And then this. Uh, okay, so we're, we're looking at 22 of these blocks, and I need 26. So let's just go ahead and do all that. So that should be all 26, assuming our hammer holds up. And it did, so that's nice. And we'll put the hammer up and grab this stuff out. And then, like I said, we want to put this water tank out here in this 80% humidity biome. And uh, But obviously we don't want to have to really ferry this water a long ways away, right? So, I don't know. Maybe right in here is probably fine. It's kind of one half dozen or the other, honestly. Um, one thing you do want to pay attention to, it's, it's not a big deal for this multi-block structure. But one thing you do want to pay attention to is your chunk boundaries. The multi-blocks that require electricity and stuff uh, can have disastrous effects in uh, if they span the chunk boundaries and then one chunk loads and the other one doesn't. I don't know honestly how big of a deal that is with uh, since we added FTB lib and its chunk loading capabilities, right? But uh, it's definitely a problem if you have not added those mods yourself. So I'm just gonna mine this out a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and make this a little bit prettier. But for right now, I think I just wanna get a little bit of height over the ground and then I'm gonna do this. And then there. And then so at 26 blocks, that should mean that it has a hollow center. Actually, I don't know. Does is the top closed in? Does it tell you? It shouldn't be. Three by three by three hollow. So we should close that in. Yep, there we go. Okay, I kind of expected the middle to be open, but I guess not. And you can see it is slowly, very slowly generating water. We're at about a quarter of a bucket right now. Um, but obviously with like the chunk loading and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be full before we know it. And then we're not going to worry about it again for a while. Now with uh, Steam Age coming up and everything, we're probably going to be building at least one more, if not several more of these uh, water tanks. But this is going to handle us for now. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's move on to the leather gloves. And I think those are here in the Stone Age. Yeah. So that's this quest right here. Uh, we've got some leather. We should have plenty of that left over. String. We'll have to craft more woven cotton. These were completed when we crafted the sleeping bag, right? So it's not accurate to what's in our inventory. But then we look at this and we've got to craft a left hand and a right hand glove. Uh, this is actually just leather. It's not bound leather, so that's really nice. And then string and woven cotton. So let's just take a stab at harvesting some of this cotton. Oops. And let me pick this up. And then get over to our bed and sleep real quick. And then this should actually be... Oh, uh, it's not quite nighttime yet. This should actually be a pretty quick craft. If we look for leather, oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, let's just look up what those called. Did that add them? Yeah, it did add them, nice. Uh, so we're gonna need six of these, which means we're gonna need a decent bit of string. Why was that? Well, I thought I had a whole other stuff. Do something though. I've got plenty of it. Yeah. And then I also crafted. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. I think I also had one of those woven cottons left over. So let me check the chest for that too. Uh, okay, so there's uh, that's actually all six that we need. So yeah, that's cool. And then we'll need another six string and six leather, which we've got. So let's do our left hand, and then let's do our right hand. 
and that's awesome. And then those are going to go into our inventory. I think they have specific slots. Is it in here, maybe? Wrong places. The gloves feel weird. Uh, so I guess I need to switch them. That's my left hand. That's my right hand. <laughs> All right. And that's going to enable us to pick up, like I said, lava buckets or like the Tinker's uh, tank. Lava tank, right? We go take it somewhere, fill it up with four buckets of lava, and then bring it back up with us without having to worry about getting burnt by it. And yeah, so I really need to kind of decorate this up a little bit. I'm probably going to do some terraforming in here and kind of flatten this land out. Definitely get rid of all this grass and move some of my stuff over. Uh, I'm kind of reluctant to move the coke oven over just because it is full of like, I don't know, 26, yeah, 25 buckets of creosote oil. And I don't want to lose that, but I don't have a good way of storing it quite yet. So I'm probably going to just slowly burn down through that and leave it there, but I'm going to try to work on some storage solutions over here. Uh, I probably off screen will work on the uh, storage drawers. Those should be pretty workable. Yeah, slabs and chests. That's actually, in terms of Greg Tech, that's actually an, an easy recipe. Yeah, uh, it only makes two, so that kind of sucks, but nice. Yeah, that's that's very doable. Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Nice. So yeah, that that's very doable. I'm probably going to get a set of those crafted up for things like dirt and sand and clay, and then the drops we get out of our garden here and then from our animal traps and things like that. So that's what I'll work on between episodes and uh, we'll see what we have in store for us next. All right. If you like the video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.